Flashdown zone is showing uh, one of the P-3 aircraft, part of the uh, recovery uh, force uh, of uh, boats, vessels, the USS Anchorage, the U.S. naval ship Salvor, uh, and other airborne assets that are uh, tracking uh, the arrival of Orion uh, for its splashdown of the Pacific Ocean just 16 and a half minutes from now. Uh, again, this uh, P-3 aircraft will be tracking uh, some of the peak heating data, recording peak heating data on Orion uh, that will be analyzed uh, post-flight by Lockheed Martin uh, on behalf of the Orion program. Orion now 400 miles above the Earth, range to splash down 2,600 miles. The uh, recovery team uh, in the Pacific uh, reporting good navigational data from Orion as it uh, goes right down the pike, heading for its splashdown target, one and a half uh, statute miles east of its pre-flight predicted target point in the Pacific Ocean. Now just five minutes until entry interface. At that point, uh, Orion will be 400,000 feet above the Earth, traveling at uh, almost 20,000 miles an hour. Launched from Complex 37 at the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station four hours, ten minutes ago. Orion is now less than 14 minutes from its return to Earth, anticipating uh, the succession of events that will begin uh, three and a half minutes from now at the point of entry interface, where Orion uh, will reach a velocity of some 20,000 miles an hour, some 84% of uh, the velocity that a spacecraft uh, would encounter uh, on a trip back from the moon. And now we're receiving a live video from Orion from inside the crew module and one of the flight test cameras Three minutes away from entry interface, Orion uh, right on track, its guidance perfect. We may be uh, experiencing a uh, telemetry uh, loss of signal uh, during a, a brief blackout period after entry interface when uh, the plasma effects uh, begin to build around the spacecraft. That uh, may uh, begin at an altitude of about 374,000 feet, may continue up until about 151,000 feet, but this is a variable, and uh, we'll stand by to see if, in fact, we do lose any data during this brief blackout period, and if so, for how long. Everything quiet here in the uh, flight control room. Flight controllers uh, 
under the direction of Mike Serafin, uh, the lead flight director, uh, watching their data inside two minutes until entry interface. Orion now 132 miles above the Earth, range to splashdown 1,200 miles, 11 minutes until splashdown. Coming up on one minute until entry interface. Standing by for entry interface. Orion now at an altitude of 470,000 feet, 900 miles from its splashdown target. Guidance officer confirms that Orion has reached entry interface, the moment of truth for Orion, for the next 9 minutes 45 seconds. And as expected, uh, we have uh, reached a uh, loss of uh, telemetry as we enter this uh, brief blackout period. Uh, at the time of the blackout, uh, the flight dynamics officer reported uh, that all of Orion's systems uh, looked perfect. This is uh, the point in time uh, where Orion uh, would be uh, experiencing its peak heating of some uh, 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit as it barrels uh, through the Earth's atmosphere, traveling uh, about 20,000 miles an hour, some 84% of the velocity of a spacecraft returning from the moon. We're four minutes away from the uh, jettison of the forward bay cover at the very top of the spacecraft that will begin uh, the shoot deployment sequence. And we've uh, reacquired uh, signal from Orion, good data being processed. This view from the Icana uh, unpiloted airborne uh, vehicle over the Pacific Ocean, over the splashdown zone. Time to splashdown, seven minutes. Range to splashdown, 127 miles. And now 
this view from Orion. It's thrusters uh, maintaining control. Flight dynamics officer reports that we're tracking right down the middle. G-force is building up on Orion, now almost to 3 Gs. A predicted G-force load of some 8 to 8.3 Gs expected. And uh, the uh, Global Positioning System satellites have a good lock on Orion as it uh, heads toward its splashdown target. We're two and a half minutes away from forward bay cover jettison. And this view again from the Ikana aircraft over the splashdown zone. Orion at 125,000 feet. Healthy thruster system reported by the propulsion officer here in Mission Control. Passing through 80,000 feet. Range to splash down about five miles. passing through 60,000 feet. Orion has gone subsonic. Standing by for forward bay cover jettison. Thirty five thousand feet. That view of Orion from the Akana. Twenty five thousand feet. Time to splash down less than four minutes. Forward bay cover has been deployed. Drogues have been deployed. Great video from the Akana. Fifteen thousand feet until splashdown. Coming up on main chute deploy. From a waypoint over the Pacific Ocean, there is your new spacecraft, America. Drogues away. Main chute deploy. On mains, everything looking good. Good reefing reported. Four thousand feet. Three good main shoots reported uh, from the USS Anchorage. 
That's confirmed here in Mission Control. From a high speed rate of uh, 20,000 miles an hour to a gentle return back to Earth more than four hours and 20 minutes after it took off on a Delta IV heavy rocket from the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. Thirty two hundred feet now until splashdown. Twenty two hundred feet now. Winds uh, at the surface uh, just about twelve knots. Wave heights uh, no more than about four and a half feet or so. Perfect conditions for Orion's homecoming. This view uh, from Orion itself uh, of the chutes, helping it uh, to descend gently towards uh, its splashdown in the Pacific. 1,000 feet. Just a few hundred feet until splashdown. One hundred feet. We have splashdown. Splashdown confirmed at 10.29 a.m. Central Time. Orion is back on Earth. America has driven a golden spike as it crosses a bridge into the future. And we now have confirmation that Orion is stable one, upright. Orion splashed down at a mission elapse time of four hours and 24 minutes. And the uh, crew module uprighting system uh, is now being activated. These are the five inflatable airbags at the, uh, at the top of the spacecraft to ensure that Orion remains in an upright position. And you can see it uh, on the water. The Flight Dynamics Officer now has uh, provided a final splashdown uh, target in the Pacific with a latitude of 23.6 degrees north latitude, 116.46 degrees west longitude, a bullseye splashdown for America's newest spacecraft. Splashdown occurring once again at 10.29 a.m. Central Time, 8.29 a.m. Pacific Time, at a point uh, some 270 miles or so west of Baja, California, 
about 630 statute miles southwest of San Diego. This is Mission Control Houston. Here in the uh, flight control room, uh, procedures uh, for post splashdown uh, activities and the monitoring of data. And there you can see in the uh, in the mission director's uh, room at Hangar AE at the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, smiles, exuberance, celebration. Uh, Orion's maiden flight from start to finish was picture perfect. Significant milestones achieved for the Orion program as we move forward uh, towards uh, future steps that will ultimately take us to Mars. But this day belonged uh, to the team uh, all the way around Lockheed Martin, United Launch Alliance, NASA, all of the contractors involved in the development and testing of Orion for what uh, turned out to be the most perfect flight you could ever imagine in a first flight of a vehicle that was being tested, a brand new vehicle launched on a Delta IV rocket, a splashdown right on target in the Pacific Ocean, a significant milestone for America's space program. That uh, view from uh, the Akana is one of the Zodiac craft uh, moving uh, toward the uh, location where Orion uh, is uh, gently uh, bobbing in the Pacific Ocean upright in Stable One with all five of its uh, inflatable airbags uh, having inflated properly to maintain it at a 180 degree orientation upright. It splashed down Stable One and stayed in that uh, configuration through the time that uh, its airbag system was deployed. Uh, every single system on this spacecraft functioned by the book from start to finish. To uh, recap, uh, Orion, uh, following its launch, uh, made two orbits of the Earth, the first elliptical, the second highly elliptical, uh, boosted uh, towards its, uh, its point in the sky and in, into deep space by the upper stage of a Delta IV rocket that uh, launched the vehicle from the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station and Launch Complex uh, 37 at 6.05 a.m. Central Time, 7.05 a.m. Eastern Time. Orion uh, passed through the Van Allen radiation belt twice, all of its systems functioning perfectly, no effects whatsoever on the shielding. 
or the computers or the avionics of the uh, craft reaching a peak altitude at 9.11 a.m. Central of 3,604.2 statute miles. The uh, crew module separated uh, from the uh, service module right on time at uh, 9.28 a.m. Central Time and then we moved uh, towards uh, the critical entry phase. Uh, once again, uh, this view uh, we're looking uh, from one of the helicopters providing a sequential still video uh, of Orion in the water, uh, perfectly upright, uh, having splashed down upright, uh, releasing its parachutes. The waves uh, cooperating, the weather cooperating uh, at the splashdown zone. Orion uh, entered uh, the high speed uh, part of its uh, journey back to Earth uh, with entry interface uh, reaching uh, the first traces of Earth's atmosphere at 10.19 a.m. Central Time, uh, moving at a speed of about 20,000 miles an hour. Uh, moments later entered a very brief blackout period while uh, the plasma effects of its uh, descent uh, into the Earth's atmosphere uh, blocked uh, telemetry from being received here in Mission Control. Once again, uh, you're looking at uh, a variety of vessels and uh, aircraft uh, moving uh, towards Orion in the, the initial phase of the recovery process that will, that will result in uh, Orion uh, being uh, winched and uh, pulled into the uh, flooded well deck of the USS Anchorage uh, for its uh, trip back to the port of San Diego, Naval Base San Diego. We, uh, we now uh, received uh, a, uh, a report that uh, three of the five uh, crew module uprighting system airbags at the top of the uh, spacecraft did inflate fully. One uh, was partially inflated. A uh, fifth bag uh, was not uh, clearly visible uh, to the uh, initial recovery team members, uh, but uh, irrespectful of that, Orion landed in an upright position under its three main parachutes in Stable 1, as it is called. If you recall from the old Apollo days, uh, Stable 2 would have meant upside down. It landed Stable 1, it splashed down in Stable 1, and maintained uh, its upright position through the use of its uh, airbag system at the very top of the spacecraft. Here in Mission Control in Houston, uh, the work is not done. As uh, Flight Director Mike Serafin and his team of flight controllers uh, continue to watch over uh, the initial uh, recovery, uh, 
procedures uh, being executed out in the Pacific Ocean, some 275 miles west of Baja and some 630 miles southwest of San Diego. Serafin, uh, about an hour or so ago, gave a uh, green light uh, after polling his team of flight controllers uh, for the extended power-up of Orion in the water uh, to provide uh, Lockheed Martin a uh, bonus opportunity uh, to retrieve thermal data uh, from the spacecraft uh, from its high-speed reentry back to Earth where temperatures around the vehicle rose to about 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit. So far, uh, the report uh, is that uh, there are no hazardous conditions around the spacecraft, no leaks being uh, detected. Small boats are uh, making their way towards Orion for the initial phase of the recovery. The uh, landing and uh, recovery uh, operations folks uh, on the scene uh, in the Pacific Ocean uh, verifying with Flight Director Mike Serafin here in Houston at Mission Control that there are no liens against approaching Orion for the initial phase of uh, its recovery. And uh, the view uh, of Orion. Again, uh, multiple views uh, from uh, both uh, airborne craft and uh, vessels on the water of uh, the Orion spacecraft as uh, it awaits uh, the arrival of uh, the recovery teams. Uh, that are uh, making their way. The uh, preliminary word uh, from the uh, Pacific is that uh, the pilot chutes and the drogue chutes uh, were not uh, recovered. Uh, that was not unexpected. The main chutes are uh, nearby. Those are expected to be recovered. Uh, this uh, smoke flare and uh, 
the green dye in the ocean uh, indicating uh, to uh, the airborne uh, recovery team uh, exactly where the Orion is located so that they can uh, make their way in a more efficient fashion uh, towards the spacecraft. Also uh, receiving reports now that the forward bay cover was not uh, recoverable either in the Pacific Ocean. But again, uh, all the data of all of the functionality of Orion during its high-speed return back to Earth uh, has been logged and will be analyzed by Lockheed Martin and the Orion program in the days and weeks ahead. Again, a good view of Orion uh, as it awaits uh, the arrival of uh, the recovery a splashdown occurring 18 minutes ago at 10:29 uh, a.m. Central Time, 8:29 a.m. Pacific Time. The coordinates for splashdown, the final coordinates of splashdown, 23.6 degrees north latitude, 116.46 degrees west longitude. Orion splashing down just about uh, one and a half statute miles east of its pre-flight predicted target. The uh, Orion is in the is at uh, its station in the Pacific awaiting uh, recovery operations. This is a point about 275 statute miles uh, west of Baja and some 630 statute miles southwest of San Diego to where Orion will be uh, transported in the well deck of the USS Anchorage over the next several days. Recovery operations uh, in the Pacific for Orion well underway. Uh, just to recap, a splashdown occurring at uh, 10.29 a.m. Central Time. There's a good view of Orion. Uh, we uh, wound up uh, with three and a half of the five uh, crew module uprighting system airbags uh, fully uh, inflated. But nonetheless, Orion... Uh, under its uh, main parachutes, which are being recovered uh, by naval uh, boats in the area. Uh, those uh, three uh, main chutes are being recovered. The forward bay cover itself, the drogue chutes, and the pilot chutes uh, were not uh, able to be recovered according uh, to the recovery teams.
Well, we uh, continue to watch uh, some of the video being provided uh, from recovery assets out in the Pacific Ocean. Uh, the uh, Lockheed Martin mission manager, Brian Austin, at Hangar AE at the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, where this uh, milestone journey began uh, almost five hours ago, uh, offering congratulations uh, to Shane Roski, the uh, Orion launch conductor, who uh, oversaw the uh, countdown and liftoff of the vehicle, as well as uh, Mike Serafin, uh, the lead flight director here in Mission Control. The uh, recovery teams in the Pacific now uh, indicating uh, that uh, two of the three main parachutes uh, were recovered, not the third. So um, the fact that uh, at least uh, two of the chutes uh, were recovered by the uh, teams out in the Pacific is good news. Uh, they also will be analyzed uh, post-mission for their uh, performance. But as you saw uh, from the uh, video from the Akana unpiloted uh, airborne vehicle uh, during the final moments of Orion's descent uh, for its splashdown in the Pacific. Uh, they functioned perfectly, enabling Orion to touch down at a velocity of about 20 miles an hour or so for a very gentle splashdown in the Pacific. The coordinates once again uh, where Orion is, you can see Orion right there. 23.6 degrees north latitude, 116.46 degrees west longitude. This video uh, of uh, Orion in the Pacific Ocean uh, with the uh, recovery teams again making their way uh, towards the spacecraft, uh, which is in excellent shape. Orion uh, reaching uh, the critical milestone of entry interface, uh, plummeting through the Earth's atmosphere at 10.19 a.m. Central Time. From that point until splashdown, it was a 10-minute uh, ride uh, down to Earth first uh, at a speed of about 20,000 miles an hour. It's uh, heat shield uh, performing uh, as advertised, repelling temperatures uh, that uh, rose to about 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit around the spacecraft. And then uh, it's uh, shoots uh, deploying in sequential fashion to uh, slow Orion down uh, to a speed of just 20 miles an hour at the point uh, at which it uh, hit the water remaining in an upright uh, position. 
Stable One, as it is called, uh, assisted uh, by at least three and a half uh, to four of the uh, crew module uprighting system airbags at the top of the spacecraft. This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, once again, Orion uh, bobbing passively in the Pacific Ocean as uh, some of the uh, recovery vessels are now approaching uh, the vehicle uh, to begin uh, several hours of uh, making sure that Orion is uh, cinched in place and uh, brought uh, into a flooded well deck in the USS Anchorage, uh, the prime uh, recovery vessel uh, for this maiden flight of America's newest vehicle. Splashdown uh, occurring at 10.29 a.m. Central Time, 8.29 a.m. Pacific Time, at a point uh, some 275 miles west of Baja, California, 630 miles southwest of San Diego. The coordinates, once again, 23.6 degrees north latitude, uh, 116.